Yeah, I'm going to read a few poems. Um, first one. It surrounds me. There is a trail of you left behind, circling in the air like leaves scattered in a breeze. But the wind is silent, and you're following the moon's shadow as it dies with the night. I follow you, walk along your memory and melancholy. The trees are vibrating within each branch and root. I think I can hear them sing your lament as whispers as echoes can allow. I will walk forever if needed upon the tattered path you never paved but forced flat with brute footsteps, angry as a giant trapped in a small world, like a musician and his ruined instrument, bitter and musicless. The grass always tells the truth in every blade and stomata, and in its sprawling of enunciation and photosynthesis, and in every exchange of energy, there is a glimpse, a mirage, a haunting of you. Okay, this one's called Dystopia. If silence could engulf us in the stillness, darkness of our trembling echoes, the sing-song warble of birds chirping in the trees we cut down would not exist. The moment of our electric eyes burning into each other's hurried glance drags on, defying the surrounded seconds which seethe into our pleading, greedy senses, as we fill in our aging wrinkles with a touch of history and a dab of humanity. To be academic is cosmetic, a little wit and a lie and some wine to pass another's unimportant time. And when your hands are finally unclenched and your lips unchapped, when you've studied the precious maps you've concocted while sleeping, in that dream, you'll take a ship to sea and never return. They'll find your bones next to a tower of your poetry. This is my last one. Um, it's called In Hours. Surmising the consonants of a rhythm, a meaning, this analysis, if it need be, of strained articulation, like the moment when words melt like wax when heated by the fleeting flames of interpretation. Dead wings, the canonized anecdote, an ancient fable of excess ego, when even the air notices extinction in the staccato echoes of voices, voices, the choices each decision determines. The sound is audible, tasting of cold ice and soft, blistering this association, precocious ponderings, no, no, a mere moment, like plucking one's finger on a tuned string and listening to the drone, drone forever, into the mouths of street corners where the ghosts sleep and moan the color green and gray, a shade like that will rot the death away, rob the night from the day. And in that eternal seizing, when everything is never silent, still, time gives. Thank you.